There's knives, spikes, crystals, and guns. As in this episode, we look at set number 70781, Bionicle's 2015's Protector of Earth. Let's get started. Before I get too far into construction, first page, obligatory uh, lime green skull spider. This comes with all of the winter slash spring wave of Bionicle 2015 with all six Toa, all six protectors. So if you don't know what these are yet, you... Well, it's a mask and a spider, not really much else to say. Just like Anwa, Protector of Earth is actually pretty short. He's got these half joints, as you can see, in his leg, as his, uh, his wrists and his ankles, making him about, not, not a lot shorter, but he's definitely shorter than the other Protectors. Um, however, because he shares this theme, with Anua, it's not uncharacteristic. Um, also, these these purple parts are appearing a lot brighter in the camera. They're a fairly dark purple, but I do like the colors. Um, before I even put any armor on him, Protector of Earth has an interesting distinction of having a chest-mounted rapid shooter, which means that in order to put it on, you have to put it on his torso. Um, and it attaches simply by clicking in at the chest. There we go. And you just have to push the pin through, and it just attaches through your kind of standard twisting uh, launcher piece. It's kind of cool. He's got a chest mounted laser, a oh, blaster, sorry, not laser. Um, it does make him stick out pretty far, but it kind of makes him into the, uh, it kind of makes him into a, just kind of a cool little guy, because he's got a chest cannon. Um, as armor actually goes, you've got two pieces on the thighs, which, strangely enough, they decide to put black armor to cover up the purple. You think, with purple being the accent color, you want to show it off a little bit. Um, I'm going to extend his legs to their full length for this, so he appears a little bit taller in the video, because he, he's not that short, but he is fairly short. Um, similar to Protector of Fire, we have the two armor plates on where the shoulders would be pointed in. Um, they have them pointing at the gun, however, I'm going to have them pointed a little bit, little bit differently. So yeah, you've got this nice bulky chest armor here. Two more small plates up here on the upper arms to make some pauldrons. And that is most of him. Now it's time to just add the cool weapons. Um, he's got a couple unique weapons, which the, they refer to as throwing knives, which are literally just your standard spike thing pieces. They go in the left hand, one with the blade pointed down and one with the blade pointed up. Kind of an interesting weapon, definitely something I would not think of when I'm thinking of an earth weapon. Um, and the other big weapon is a what they call a, a star drill. You've got this kind of just basic uh, little platformy piece that spins when you turn the gear with the uh, with the big piece being this lovely star like star kind of like uh, trans purple armor piece very cool very nice I kind of, I kind of wish I had another one of these to make like a, a battle mace but it plugs in the front right there and so you can heat protector of earth can just hold out in front of him and spin it to drill his way through opponents and that's kind of a really cool weapon and i'm glad they included that uh, next up we have these two blocky rock armor pieces they kind of look a little bit like uh, shoes when you point them forward but they have uh, they have your standard lightsaber pegs that plug simply into the shoulders to get your big spiky pauldrons. So that's kind of neat. And last but not least, you have the 
protector of earth mask, which on my version is mostly black, and up here near the horns, the horns of the mask you have, the trans purple. It looks very nice, and when you put him on the figure, really kind of rounds it out. So I'm going to change the camera angle to give you a better look. And so here is Protector of Earth in all his glory. As you can see, he's not super tall. He only stands about maybe about six inches, maybe seven inches at most high. But the combination of his unique chest-mounted blaster, his large spikes, which are pretty cool, and the inclusion of this star drill definitely make it a set worth picking up. I don't really feel that these throwing knives were necessary. I kind of think it's okay for him to have free hand, um, but it's not a bad thing. It's just an extra piece to use for mocking. Um, so, yeah, definitely a set worth picking up. Um, a little bummed that it took so long to get here. It took about a week to ship here when it should have taken about three to five days, but that's not an issue with it. And um, definitely a cool set, definitely worth the money. Until next time, I'm Metagross Freak, and drill on.